Hello everyone, today I want to show you a more advanced trick of how to group and ungroup rows or columns with one click with Excel macro. So as a recap, in this one I showed you and shared with you the codes of how to group and ungroup uh, rows or columns with one click. I also have additional um, videos to show you how to do that with all the spreadsheets um, in your workbook. So now um, I have a new scenario, which is what if I want to do this grouping and ungrouping or actually any action for all the sheets in my workbook, but I want to select action for some specific sheets. So for example, let's go back to our sample uh, spreadsheet. So for example, I have four spreadsheets here. Uh, and basically, I want to, with one click, I want to be able to group or ungroup my columns for those two spreadsheets. And then for this one, instruction for admin, I don't want to group it. Like, um, I want my macro to be able to under, uh, to identify this sheet and do not do anything. And for this, um, another spreadsheet, I want to do something else. How do we do that? How do we achieve that with just one click? I'm going to show you the code here right now. Um, and uh, as always, you do not need to copy it. You can just follow my explanation, understand the logic. I will paste it in the description and you can customize for your use after you understand the logic behind it. Okay, so this is a code that I'm, I'm, I'm using to achieve what I was just talking about. Um, as you see, it's not complicated, which I like. And I'll show you what it does. So I named it as group specific columns on specific sheets. So what I'm trying to do here um, is that um, I will first need to define an I as integer, which is actually the number that I'm using to identify how many uh, each of the sheets that we are taking action on. It actually um, doesn't matter how many sheets are here because I'm defining another integer as sheet count, which um, will be calculated with this uh, line of code, which will return the number of sheets in our workbook, how many sheets there are. And then I have an explanation here. It's, in, uh, it's a comment. It's in green. It doesn't run. It's just my explanation of what I'm trying to do here. So here I'm trying to create a loop function with for and next. And I'm trying to loop through all the spreadsheets and apply actions based on the rules. So if you can see in my previous videos, I actually um, had a simple ones, which means that I would uh, basically loop through all the defined sheets or loop through um, all the sheets, how many numbers are there, and I, I would do exactly the same thing for all the sheets. However, in our new um, scenario here, I'm going to do something different. So this code is saying that uh, while we already know how many sheets are here, we counted, and then for all my sheets from sheet number one to the sheet count, I will do the following. The first action, so you can see here, is actually an if function, um, which is nested in my loop function. So in this if function, I'm saying that if the sheet, um, if the sheet name is instruction for admin, which it is here, um, then you basically leave it blank. I have a, like I have a comma here, but it's basically saying that if the name is this, then do nothing. Um, and when the macro actually runs, it's going to identify, okay, if sheet number, um, four is equal to, um, and the name is equal to instruction for admin, then skip it. Then basically just run to the next line of code. And my next line of code is, um, else if, uh, the sheet name is demo three, which is one of the sheets. What I'm trying to do here is to show you a variation, to show you one more scenario of what could happen. So basically what you could happen is that you can, you can choose to do nothing, but you can also choose to do something. And here is where you nest your code for the something that you want to do. So for me, I'm doing something really simple, which is if my sheet number is demo three, as I'm showing here, I'm going to change the sheet name to change name. <laughs> 
So that's what the macro is going to do. It's going to run through all my sheets. Um, and if the sheet number uh, name is equal to the MS3, it's going to be changed to change name. If not, then it goes to the next um, condition, which is else, which is all, everything else for all the other sheets that we, we want to do, which is, in my case, group all my columns in uh, C and D. Um, and then end, and then end my scenario, and then you go to the next one. So this is how I combined a loop function with an if function. So it, this code is a bit more complicated compared to all the previous ones, but I'm hoping that the previous ones, which I will also have the link in the description, will help you to understand the logic behind this more complex code. And then you can tell that after you understand all the previous one, this one is really not that hard to do. Okay, so now we understand the logic um, behind the codes. So now let's try to run it. So again, make sure like before you run it, make sure it's assigned to the correct macro that you have written. So when I click so after I click on it, um, it should show that on the demo one and two, the columns are grouped. Um, and in my column, uh, in my, my demo three sheets should be changed to name, should be changed to change name, and nothing should happen in my instruction for admin. So let's run it. Okay, so in, uh, it's already run. And then in my first sheet, it's grouped. My demo two is grouped. My sheet number three, it's not grouped because I didn't ask my code to do that. The sheet name also changed to change name. And in my this uh, instruction for the mean, nothing happened. That's it. So um, this is a really simple and straightforward scenario, but I know that for a lot of you, you deal with way more complex uh, spreadsheets than this, and um, you may have way more complex scenarios than what I have here. But, but you can keep calm because as you can see from the code, the logic behind it is really simple. It's really just two simple macro codes behind it. And if you understand that logic, you can build a lot more complex instructions than what I'm showcasing here. Okay, so that is everything I wanna cover for you today. I hope that has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.